Hi kids, today we're going to read The Call Who Could by Rachel Wright and Jim Field. Mm. Read it. The Call Who Could. In a wonderful place where the day was just dawning and the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning. In a place where the creatures ran wild and played free. A call called Kevin clung to a tree. A nice and great fellow you never would meet. As soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to play in the nap and too much and too much a leaf bun. And after all this, well, he needed a nice rest. Yes, Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best. You see, I was safe. He liked the slow pace. Well, the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move. Or to... Nope, Kevin prefer Nope, Kevin preferred not to move or to shit. Did that do good? Yeah, you are. Uh -huh. So he climbed to a tree as he knew what to do. And he was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and he shouted one day, Hey, Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Um, I think he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. This is like a, this is like a Dr. Seuss book. Why not, said the ruse, with a super loud cheer. Yes, why, said the called the dingoes. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who's never been one to act fast, said, I'm planning to do, but it's nice that you should ask. Miss Kevin sat watching them shatter and share. A part of him wished he could join them down there. But he knew he missed home. It was dark and so late. The whole thing was risky. A venture could wait. Whatever the invite, he already saying he always say no. Oh dear, it's in Kevin. Just couldn't let go. <sighs> so his life was the same, no matter the day. The weeks came and went. And the months rolled away, and Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until until he awoke to a worrying sound. Tap tap, the sound went. Well, this sound was this was a blow. Tap tap. No, tap, 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 tap. Oh no! Unclean, the crowd cold, which had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you, just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go! No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh dear, I just... Can't! Whoop. Down came the tree, and if it was bringing crash in a wall, a cabin still playing. Kevin had to carefully open one eye and looked up at the love down from staring down from the sky. Then one paw from one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt stringy and light and happy and bold. The worst he could think of had just come to pass, and he was just fine. Why, he felt quite first class. So when Mom Matt leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt worried or doubt. 
when Dingle asks, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined up. And what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, Yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. Because life can be great when you try something new. The end. Sometimes little things can open your world to big possibilities. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you next time. See you next time. On Storytime with Adam.